Hi, I'm Betsy Smith with Officer.com, and I want to talk to you about family emergency planning. You know, we get uh, stuck at work or called into work for all kinds of disasters, whether they're uh, a natural disaster, like, like a storm, a hurricane, a tornado, whatever, uh, or a, a situation where we get stuck there on a hostage barricade, uh, active shooter situation, any kind of uh, what we'd call man-caused disaster. We're at work. Have you thought about what about my family? What about my family if we're in the storm zone? Uh, what about my family if I can't get home to work? Do you have a family emergency plan? Now, first and foremost, I want you to think about who's in your family. Now, kids, obviously, that's part of it, but you're, you might also have pets. You might have big livestock, like horses and things. Have you made arrangements for not just your kids, but for those pets as well? Now, have you made arrangements with the school for your kids? Very often we have you know, somebody that can come and, and pick them up at school. You better have a, a list of people because a lot of times we have what? Our other law enforcement or first responder friends are the ones who can come take our kids out of school. Make sure you have somebody or a couple of people on that list who live close to your home and who are authorized to get your kids from school. Now, a lot of us are in relationships or married to other first responders, whether we're married to firefighters, nurses, uh, teachers a lot of time, people who are also going to not be able to come home. So have you thought about that, about if you're both stuck, gone for a long period of time? Now, you also need to share these plans, not only with your family and your friends, you need to share the plans with your kids. You want to talk to them. And again, a lot of times we don't say these things to our kids because we don't want to scare them. But kids would rather know the plan and be a part of the plan rather than not know what's going on and have somebody show up who doesn't usually pick them up from school or pick them up from daycare or show up at your house. So sit down as a family and say, hey, if we have something, a hurricane, a, a tornado, an earthquake, uh, an active shooter situation, something where w me and your other parent are gonna have to stay at work, here's the plan. These are the people that may come and pick you up and they may take you here. They may, you may have to go far away or maybe you're just going to go to grandma's house and we're going to need you to help get them involved in the preparation. Tell them, look, we need you to pack up the dog or the cat. We need you to get them food. We need you to take some responsibility. We need you to know what you're going to need to take with you. And we need you to know that, hey, I'm safe. I'm going to be fine. And you our family, our kids here, we want you to focus on you. Don't worry about me. I'm a first responder. I know what I'm doing. And you take care of yourself. Tell your older kids, take care of your little siblings, take care of the pets, and tell them, help grandma and grandpa, help the neighbor, help whoever, empower them to get involved in their own safety and their survival as a part of your family emergency plan. This is Betsy Smith with Officer.com. Stay safe.